Hello, Bobcats. I'm here today with my daughter, Madeline, and we thought we would share one of our very favorite stories of all time with you, Madeline. Let's do it. Girl. <laughs> so it's spelled the same way as Madeline spells her name. And do you remember when you were born? You wouldn't remember all of this, but when you were born, we got so many gifts of the Madeline, the little figurines. Oh my gosh, your whole bedroom was filled was. with Madeline dolls. <laughs> What else did you get that was Madeline? I think my favorite was the tea set that I got and the alarm clock. And the alarm, yeah, we had like little um, plastic dishes that yeah. you used to eat off of as a baby. <laughs> and what else? Did, we had a big picture in your room, like a big poster of uh -huh. Madeline <laughs> and dolls, like I said, everywhere. Oh, oh my goodness. gosh, so much Madeline stuff. So today we're going to share with you the very first book of Madeline. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines they broke their bread, and brushed their teeth, and went to bed. They smiled at the good, and frowned at the bad, and sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine, in two straight lines, in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and she said, something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed out to the phone. And he dialed 1106. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket, safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed there was a crank. And a crack on the ceiling that had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. <laughs> Outside were birds, trees, and sky. And so ten days passed by, passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, Isn't this a fine day to visit? Madeline. Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door, tiptoeing with solemn face with some flowers and a vase. And they walked and they said, Ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far, on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed, brushed their, their teeth, <laughs> and went to bed. <laughs> Sorry, girl. <laughs> in the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And she said, please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, boo-hoo, we want to have our appendix out, too. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. <laughs> <laughs> I used to read that book to you all the time when you were a baby. And like I said, we have the whole collection of books. So if you liked the first one, I would encourage you to please read more yes. from the Madeline <laughs> series. We hope you have a great day today, boys and girls. We miss you and can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.